Hi, Coin. Long time no see. Hi, Dice. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine too. You are a university student, right? Yes, I am. What are you studying in university? I'm studying d n a University. Oh, really? It's amazing. What are you doing with DNA? I'm applying DNA to DNA computing. How can you use DNA computing for? I'm going to make a randomizer with it. You make a randomizer with DNA computing? I'm interested in it. Please tell me in detail. How do you make a randomizer with DNA? In my plan, we can develop DNA randomizer using concentration fractions. In this example, three is amplified and the others are suppressed. I see. These are main materials. This is long single stranded DNA. This is nicking nucleus. This is short single stranded DNA. This is DNA polymerase. Next, we prepare two types of DNA temples. Why is the color of each DNA different? Different color DNA play different roles. First, these domains are domain E and E prime. Domain E and E prime are amplification devices. These domains are domain I. The reaction starts from this domain. These domains are domain C. These are suppressors. These DNA are enhancers. They promote the amplification of the enhancer of the same color and suppress the amplification of enhancers of different color. Each DNA has an important role, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, what kind of operation do you actually do? First, we add initiator. This is consistent with the movement of rolling a dice. In this case, we add only a single molecule of initiator for clarity. After that, initiator hybridizes to domain I. Then, DNA polymerase starts elongation reaction. I see. How much initiator you should add? Compared to the template, we add very small amount of initiator. If too much initiator is added, the reaction of all template will proceed. Then you cannot express randomness. You add a very small amount of initiator to express randomness, don't you? Yes. Next, when the elongation reaction of DNA polymerase proceeds, the enhancers are detached. Detached enhancers hybridize to domain E of other templates with the same colors, and DNA polymerase starts elongation reaction again. By repeating this reaction, the enhancer of the same color is amplified. I see. However, an actual reaction, the initiator is not only a single molecule, is it? Does the other enhancer increase in the same way? Detached enhancers also hybridize to domain C of other templates with different colors, then Nikkei recognizes and cuts the templates. This suppresses the increase of the other enhancer. In the actual reaction, the reaction starts by adding the initiator. DNA polymerase and Nikkei make it easy for red enhancer to increase and decrease for green one. Finally, the number of either enhancer gets bigger. In this case, the number of red gets more than that of green. I see. It's like that reaction promotes competitively, and the result is gotten by majority decision. That's right. I got it. Thank you for your explanation and have a good research. I'll inform you of the result as soon as I get it.